Hi, my name is Kurt Norbury. I'm a wildlife photographer from the UK. As a wildlife photographer, we need to be able to disappear into the landscape to get close to our subjects. Now, in the next few weeks, I'm going to be talking about different ways of camouflaging yourself by using different clothing, hides, which can be from very cheap, small fabric hides to a full professional wooden or dome fabric hide, which I'll be showing in the next few weeks. Hope you enjoy this review. I'm going to start these reviews with the smallest and the most easiest of the hides. This is from Wildlife Watching Supplies, a UK based company. And this is mainly a fabric hide which wraps over yourself and the gear. So you don't have to take anything, any poles, anything like that. All you need to take with you is yourself, a little deck chair or a little small chair, it doesn't matter. Or you can just kneel down and you can be comfortable in it and be completely camouflaged. Now, I'm going to show you how to put this on. It's very easy and very quick. You can also wear it, which I'll also show. And hopefully we'll get something good out of it. There's two ways you can go out with a hide. You can either wear it like a poncho, or you can just have it in your bag. It's easily foldable, and it doesn't take up much space in your bag. I'm now going to show how to put this hide on top of your lens and be yourself. The best way to start doing it is to put it on yourself first, and then over the lens. Put that over the lens like that. And you can now you can either have your head free like this. We'll have your set up, hide, tell them to hit. We also have a hole at the top which you can look through. So you've got complete control and you're completely hidden at the same time. And there you have it, a nice and easy hide to put together. Not, not much to carry, like I said, it fits perfectly in your bag. And that's all there is to it. I've used it several times already and haven't had any problems with it. One of the only thing, little niggles that I don't like about it is that it's not waterproof. Because it's just a thin material, the water just goes straight through it. But apart from that, it's worked great and really gets rid of the human outline, which what usually scares off a lot of wildlife. If you want to wear this as a poncho, it makes it a lot easier if you're out walking for miles and you don't want to be messing around getting this stuff out of your bag. So I'm just going to show you how to put it on as a poncho. So just like before, you put it on. Just put it over in the main hole that you looked through earlier. You can use that to actually wear it through. Now it's not the most fashionable item, but you're outside in the middle of nowhere, no one will see it, so it doesn't matter. So you can have it like that, or once you've done that, you can have it hanging over here like a poncho, or what I've done, hang it over, hang it over your back. From there, you can pick up your gear, like so, and be on your way.
I've found this wildlife watching supplies bag hide has been very versatile for photographers. It's lightweight, so it's easy to carry around. You can carry it how I'm doing it now, or you can put it in your bag. Whichever, you don't even notice it's there due to the size of it. It's also a breathable material, so in summer days you won't be feeling too humid underneath, as most hides they can get a lot, can get quite hot during the day. It's also available in different camo patterns. This is the Advantage Timber, or the real tree one, which is probably the most common for British photographers as it blends in both the best. It blends in the best for our environment. The one of the downsides I've noticed is just the one is that it's not waterproof. Now, the good thing about not it being waterproof is most waterproof materials are quite noisy and they do keep the heat in. So there's pluses and minuses with this product, but overall it's a great product and I feel like it would be a really good addition to everybody's camera bag. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos and reviews, make sure to check my YouTube channel. And if you want to see a written review of this product and many others, make sure to check out my website. Thanks for watching.